active and now we'll see how to create registration form in a new way that is in 2021 so we'll see so this is output and uh, this is a uh, created using table so this is a registration form so we will this is a text box this is password control and this is radio button this is email control and this is drop down and this is a uh, telephone control okay so now we'll see how to create this so if you are new you subscribe to my channel to get more updates now we'll see how to create uh, this so one by one i'll show you uh, each and every line so to create registration form uh, these are the basic tags you have to include then after that because we are creating all this uh, advanced uh, form controls uh, so we have to use form tag and uh, heading you have to give so now we'll start creating using table so table tag we'll use so use angular bracket write table so in table first row we'll create by tr tag now in first uh, that is uh, heading we'll use we'll write here that is we want name so we'll write name close this tag and we'll see output and then we'll see how it get so name is displayed now we want uh, in that same row that is in first row we want a uh, text box so we will write here we will create text box by using input tag type is equal to input type is equal to text so here text box will be created so text box is created now what i want uh, this uh, this one should be placed that is i want a temporary label in this text box so use placeholder placeholder is equal to suppose i want here as a label temporary label save it so here my first th is used for that is first column name second column uh, on first row we had created text box control so this is a text box control that is advanced uh, that is a, a input type text control so now next we'll see in next row now i had already created so one by one i'll show you so next row we want so i'll remove this because i had already created so you can go through one by one i'll go on commenting means non executable statement so that you'll understand now now what i want in second row i want password control so here so i'll use which tag for new row i'll use tr tag so tr stands for table row so in a uh, second row first column below name we want password so right here th th stands for table heading so right here password so right close this tag so we'll see output so password is created but what i want this text should be aligned left so right here align is equal to left save it run so text is left aligned here also you align left so text is now we want password control after this so in next that is uh, sorry here i'll remove this now we see now and to create password control that is password we'll see now how to create so now we'll see how to create password control so here you have to use th tag so we will write now input so input type password is used to create password control input type is equal to password so close this tag close th tag and close tr tag so in second row we had created two columns 
so this is password control and if you want temporary label in this password uh, field then use placeholder so placeholder attribute is used to add a temporary label to that control so right here suppose password so you can write any label see now this label that pass holder now it will come so this is called label so by this placeholder we get temporary label now next row we want that is gender so so we'll use next tr tag for third row that is we want uh, that is gender we want that is we want to create a radio button so third row use th tag for table heading so write here gender so we'll see now we'll close this so this gender label but i want left side so right here align is equal to so i want this uh, gender text that is on left side so right in th tag right align left see now this is align left now we want in same row we want two radio buttons one for uh, this one for male and other for female so we'll write here now input so input type is used to create different type of fields that is controls so we'll write here now type is equal to so we want to create type is equal to checkbox so by checkbox checkbox will be created so this is created so i want a uh, radio button instead of checkbox so right radio so this is radio button so i want here label as male so see output so male so one more label i want in same that is in same column so right here input input then write type is equal to radio and then close this and close this and write here female save it close th tag and close row okay so this in row we have two columns so this is in first column gender and this uh, male and female is in uh, that is another column now we'll see in next row that is in fourth row so for next row use tr tag so i want to create email control here so i'll write here use th tag then write uh, email email close it save so i got but i want email on left side so i'll write here align is equal to is equal to left save it and run it so now i want email control so this is uh, html5 email control which does the validation when you submit so it does validation if you are inputting wrong uh, method of email so right here input type is equal to so this is few advanced input types email so now we'll see email control will be get created so i want label in this so for adding label temporary label into this email uh, control or field you can see so use placeholder command placeholder is equal to write email or if you want 
user to enter in that form so write email id at the rate gmail dot com so save and run see now so we got temporary label in gray now close this th tag means and close tr tag means in uh, fourth row we had created two columns now in fifth row we want uh, that is phone number so write tr tr stands for table row means and to create now next row in next row i want what phone number so i will write th that is table heading means it a text appears in form of bold letters so write here phone number so close this now run uh, and align also you do do it as left because all the text should be left align left save it so this is left align now i want drop down box uh this that is um, that is country code i want country code to be entered in this so right here select tag so select tag is used to create drop down box so right in option we have to write like country code like suppose 091 so we'll write one more option any you can write whatever code three will add it or four option zero just i am writing i don't know all country code so uh, close this select tag means and then close th tag tr uh, tag and th tag so we will uh, close this here that is we have to create here we have to use that is th tag we have to um, remove from here that is we want here this side th close so this drop down is created now now this was in first column that is label along with this drop down now i want in next column in same row that is in fifth row so i want uh, another that is i want phone number so this is uh, html5 uh, advanced input types so right here input type is equal to so right tell so tell is used uh, to enter only numbers it don't allow you to enter text so this is advanced input type tell even email is advanced input type which is introduced in latest version of html5 so close this and run so this is telephone so i want temporary label here password also i want temporary label So you can write as how you want. Okay. So now we will write here. So here it was a line, a line. Okay. Now it is proper. Now I want temporary label in this. so right here placeholder so placeholder acts as a temporary label to any field so wherever you want temporary label it will appear in gray form so right here like uh, we want like in 9 8 and then uh, we want any number <coughs> okay so this uh, you got it now we want to we want in next row that is we want uh, submit button so we will see that submit button that is to submit the form you will see so use tr tag for next row th tag use 
for table heading means in that table heading i want that is input i want submit button so write input type is equal to submit then close th tag close tr tag because i want only one so this is submit button now we'll try to enter the name so a b c anything right password whatever you enter it will be entered in means it will be displayed in dot form this is radio button any you can select now we are just checking we had not you have to do on off from here so by default if you want a uh, selected radio button any radio button so right here checked so checked is used when you want radio button to be selected by default so ch is so here c h c k d now see here now this is by default selected if you want female to be selected by default then remove this checked here right in this input type radio right here checked now we'll see now we will close this or uh, then uh, finally close the table tag then form tag you close body and html tag so we'll try to enter now a b c d whatever you want to enter password here this is mail write email now because this is advanced uh, input type email control so if if you wrongly enter then it will give you a error message on submit and this uh, will allow only to enter uh, which that is it will allow you to enter only numbers now when i do because on submit because email uh, is not entered properly so this is because advanced input type uh, in html5 of email control so validation is done so this is a valid format uh, means you have to compulsory enter at the rate then only it will move further okay so you can see the program so if you are new you can subscribe to my channel to get more updates hope you understood so this is uh, uh, html5 some controls are advanced input type controls so hope you under understood subscribe to my channel to get more updates thank you